All right, so here we're combining like terms. And my first step before I even look at these terms is to rewrite subtraction as the addition of negatives. As I've said in a couple of videos, um, subtracting a term is fine. It's just I think adding the negative allows me to make less mistakes or helps me make less mistakes. Because now that I've done that, I can see, okay, I've got 2xy's and a negative 3x. I've got 2y's here and another negative 3x here and negative 2y's there and negative 3. This helps me see nice things. Like, for example, I have plus a positive 2y and a negative 2y. Well, you have two groups of y and then you essentially lose two groups of y. That's, that's just zero. I also notice then that we've got negative 3 all by itself. I'll put that first. I also notice that, so that's now taken care of. I circle them as I go. I notice negative 3x. There's no other term. The xy terms are different. We don't know what y is or what it equals, so we can't combine it with the x term. And I should have done this, but that's a negative there. I covered it up by accident. So that's plus negative 3x. And then finally, we have these xy terms. Well, here we have two groups of xy, and here we have negative three groups of xy. And now, notice I use that word groups. It helps me think about this, right? The coefficient, the number in front of the, of the variables, tells me how many groups of that variable we have. So here we have two groups of the variables, x and y, and here we have negative three groups. So it's just like having two, but then losing three. And that's the same thing as having negative one groups of x, y. Another way to write this is negative 3 plus minus 3x, that's just minus 3x, plus negative 1 x, y is just minus x, y. These are both equivalent expressions, and there are other ways, because once you have these plus signs in here, you can change the order of the three terms, and those are these 1, 2, three terms. You can put them in any order and still get the same expression as long as it's in terms of addition. That's another reason that writing an addition is so awesome. All right, thank you.